put some pressure on the two solos. Um, that's that's how I look at this anyway. I, I can go with that. I, I'm just trying to look at a way where you're facing up against a one v one, and you're already winning it. You can really abuse it that much easier with a with a fury and having a quick phase where you know the puck isn't going to be able to match your damage because puck doesn't generally go face boost tough lane. Oh, they're going. They even just stuck around there. Shot of trouble. Wave of terror. The pie cat. That's that problem when you TP him in. Well, actually, BZZ. He's men fighting up against EGM. The Asprey is still down. He gets around the corner. Somehow, BZ, BZZ like threw his own like like corpse at him and managed to get the kill. But he's got some trouble running away from here. The salve. Oh, pie cat missed the cancel. There is the poison sting sticking sticking into him. And Prophet, another TP too far away. Again, the plague wards come down. And the Sing Sing will at least. I can't do that either. So it seems very happy in this lane. The only thing he needs right now is Arcane Boots. He's unstoppable. But normally when Sing does this, he uh, goes in something else. Now Alchemist coming in with a stun. BZZ makes his run in here. And well, they need a body block. And EGM, don't blow block, don't blow body block your teammate. Uh, the proper comes in. He'll go for Yol. Not a lot of damage coming out of Pycat just yet. He needs one more hit. The tree to summon. Yol in the tree line. He will go down. Pycat though, TP's in. To end up being a one for two trade with two. The core's going to go down. While in middle lane, even the courier's almost about to take a fall. I think that that fight would have been much different if you had the level three wards up for. We'll see, Doi. He's going on Koi, but he turned into a quick Crypt Swarm. He's still got the double damage rune. So Koi can battle up against Doi with some damage, but not enough. Nice. Right there would have made. They're coming mid. Black Cat. Oh God. That's a big TP in from Black Cat. And Nick was on the way in too. That's Volvo with a black hole. He's Malthus on at midnight pulses over on God, allowing the Crypt Swarm to finish the job. Now Jonathan into the sun on Pie Cat, but your black hole from Volva. He got the one man that potentially could have stopped him, but even though he threw the stun. He gives a double kill out to Koifa. That's level seven now over on him as whoops, there goes Nature's Prompt as C point. Volva came in through the rear and Volva, you're right, he's low on life, 28 life points away. And Live still kills off the Venomans from the meantime up on the top line, taking damage from the tower. He's peeing the living crap out of him, saying the acid spray as well as Koi for exorcism is almost finished for Roshan. In fact, now Roshan, he is done before the Bible still can arrive. And Bola starts the Malphus on Adam in Nipolis with a perfect dream call from Cedoy. Catching out to Gentleman with the Sun as well, but they're still battling it out. EGM suns himself. Lol. And now he'll also die to two attacks from God as well as from the Sky Wrath Mage. While Cedoy battling up against Koi who gets a lot of life points back as the exorcism wore off. Ends up being a rest of TT just continue to farm. Yeah, now with Yol here, they may try and go for that jump on the Koi. Oh, they're Sing Sing. Dream Coil, plant the field. He'll throw the ulti out, and he's a lot more health here. See, you know, going to be starting to tick pretty fast, because the Bulba won't be able to catch up with him in time. And maybe Pycat will, however. God, Malice for Sun, no TP out on this one. The Midnight Pulse down too. John swaps him a little bit further down, away from the wards. While up on top, EGM attempt the TP out. Sing Sing ended up dying in the middle lane, and the Death Prophet died up on the top. I actually prefer the Ancient Seal build um, over many, uh, over the Arcane Bolt build for this specific reason. The hard, lion, large amount of magic damage they have. Yeah. yeah. There's your seal to make sure he doesn't get into, into Chemical Rage. He was dead anyway, even if he did pop the Chemical Rage or not. And that means top tower going down. Rotation into mid lane. God is gonna try and defend this. I wish him the best of luck. Uh, that's a level two exorcism with the four points up in witchcraft already. And Volva, he's got black hole available. Midnight falls to drop. Beautiful dream call and double silence. He's waiting an out bubble. We'll have to take the stun at the end of the day. Sing Sing, too low in life. And now Volva turns into the three man hole. But yo, the one man not caught in it. He fast him up perfectly. And he could drop. But there's still a large amount of damage coming out from Koi for exorcism. Especially with Concoction Sun from EGM. The VS swap away. But he'll end up just bringing himself into a point blank range for Crypt Swarm. Whoop! There she goes. Double kill for Koi. But Steedo is run down. It's a big Like phase of lifesteal. And most lifestealers like, would potentially just go one point up in feast. So this kind of forces like a different kind of build out from B from BZZ. And maybe a little bit more pressure onto him as opposed to just sitting back. Now Plycat caught out y'all. Perfect TP in. He's got Blade Mail, turns it on, and goodbye y'all. The bright side of a Blade Mail. And oh! oh. He actually stopped the dream coil! Well done, Cedoy. He's TPing him. They want Bees easy. EGM, the Yule set her up, but Jonathan gets the son of the start with. EGM just triggers off his ultimate, and then BZZ tries to stand his ground. There's your black hole from Bulma. They need to stop him from attacking, and Coin for Zoli to have some time to do the work. So BZZ goes down. Jonathan, the urn charge is ticking him out. Gives two more charges over to the Alchemist.
situation. They were going to be going for a very aggressive build on the Light Stealer. Go for the race car build just so you don't have to, like, so you can just constantly be on those heroes over and over again. Mm -hmm. I thought that's the way they were going to build this, but BZD is building into, like, a oh, oh, jump. Dream call. Got to go over on two. The Midnight Pulse goes down. See, though, the Pro is going to bounce off pretty heavily with a Venom as he gets mobbed up on Misty Flair. EGM, another stop will go out, but it's two to zero. Volva, quick stuns over while well, he's looking for one. Mercedes is feeling pretty well unfazed right now while golfing attacked by a conversion army. Koifa and Wasal's on BGC, so there's no infest possibility. No burst damage cap from that one. Cedoy, man, he's ticking down low. These plague was not making life easy. And they ramp and abuse that little fog They're coming again. Sing Sing's ready for him. Plague Wall is going to put Cedo's Blink Dagger or keep it on cooldown, but the orb lets him come in. High cap. Already put the blade on the lock, but the Gale hits on the pits already on the Lion Seal. Venomant throws the Oldie out. Hits over on the Razor as well as the BS, but Sing Sing and Ken. Man, that Mystic Flare is not his friend. The Yule Simpson sends BDD up into the air, while Roshan, well, he's already being taken. Aegis sim all into the hands of the Dead Prophet, and EGM is on the chase. Cedoy, he wants to blink away. Concoction, he's able to phase shift it out, but now his phase shift's being used. Crypt Swarm flies out, but Cedoy, it bought him time to actually get that Blink Dagger back off cooldown but yo one more crypt swarm with the urn attack it's actually not enough damage down on the ground uh the death prophet exorcism like all of that is huge amounts of damage over time that if you just consistently try and fight up against Shot him, you're gonna lose smoke's gonna break koi he's able to get the pick up right now but stunned up for a little bit koi for trying to break free the hex use over on god and man there's a lot of damage coming up from the almond they're gonna pick up too Shot him trying to save his teammates life but the ex is chasing him down past the tower the orbit the orbit Pretty quickly, not to mention the acid spray, keeping VP out from getting close. And BZZ caught inside the sprout, in fact, raised up already. And he wants to run out, but he got gailed again. Just can't move. Bulba, they're gonna commit. They want him down. The Dream Call will catch a lot of him. He actually managed to invest into the one range. He was about to pop back out again, but Bulba will take the kill. While Skyrack will die the death drop. And Venom is Gale or his Black Hole. Here we go again, man. This is going to be Team Tyrion and Tyrion trying to finish the job. Boy first, Cedoy jumps out, nice coil. And Bulba, well, his BKB, he does have Black Hole available. The Midnight Pulse goes a serious work. Boy for will go down, which means it only goes with it, but the Aegis Simulator will bring it back up again. The buyback will come, but it's a triple kill for Pycat. Of all people, just pouncing around, doing the damage, and a very, very convincing fight to take game number one here. Virtus Boy versus Team Reno, Tikarino. Not exactly the start of people looking for in the D2CL, but... Well, if you bet your res on Team Reno and Team Carino, you're playing the odd advantage because uh, they are looking still very, very strong. Game number two. Would expect more of the same, but hey, VP, maybe, maybe they can surprise us. Yeah, different draft. I, didn't, I just didn't like the Life Stealer in general. I, I'm not sure what it gave them. So hopefully a different draft will change things around. Go and, draw and do uh, game two. Yeah.